Hi, I'm Agni and I have been running my online store Unicorn Mocha around two years now. My top selling products are my stickers and I make most of them at home. Today I want to show you how I make stickers using Procreate and the Silhouette Cameo 4. Making stickers at home is easy, but once you upgrade to a cutting machine, things can suddenly become very complicated. So I wanted to share with you everything I have learned and I hope you find this helpful. You might have seen the title and wondered what is Easy Peel. It's a method I saw other artists using on TikTok to make their stickers easier to peel. As you can see, my stickers can be hard to peel if I just cut them regularly. It's hard to catch the edge. But with Easy Peel, we can cut the sticker paper so the back of the sticker is larger, making it easier to remove the sticker. Today I will show you how to design this in Silhouette Studios. First, we need to draw our sticker. I use Procreate on my iPad, but you can use any painting software you like. For my example today, I will use this drawing of Banana Cat that I painted in my previous vlog. To make it into a sticker, we need to make the background transparent. Do this by deselecting the background layer on Procreate. Only leave the layers you want as part of your sticker. Now you might think we need to draw that white border you see on stickers. But we don't need to do this for individual stickers. We can create the border in Silhouette Studios. Now you just need to save your design as a PNG file to keep the transparent background and transfer it to your laptop or PC that has Silhouette Studios. All right, so we're gonna begin by opening our Silhouette Studio. So in front of you, you might have your page already set up, but if not, you're going to click on page setup up here and then it's going to open this window and you're going to select your machine, which for me is the Cameo 4, feed type for me is manual, and then the cutting mat will be using the 12 times 12 inch cutting mat, the square one, which you normally can get on Amazon and I think it comes with the machine as well. But if you have a different mat, you can just open it up and select your mat. And then we're going to be working on A4 and we're going to be also printing on A4. So the next thing we're going to do is go here on registration marks and we're going to put our registration marks on. So the cutting area where we're going to put our designs and where they're going to get cut is inside this red rectangle. Anything outside of it, it won't be able to cut. And then it also won't be able to cut anything that's touching these black cross section square places here. And so with the black square dot over here and the lines, that those are the cutting registration marks. This is what your machine is going to be using to calibrate the cutting with your design on here and for the machine in real life. So next we're going to start designing. So we're going to go on file and we're going to press merge and then we're going to pick our PNG which for me is Banana Cat we worked on earlier. And there you go, it shows up. Usually it's pretty large, so you can just click on it and you can adjust the size just up here. So I like my stickers for it to be three inches at their like uh, largest segment. So it's gonna be three inches high. And then when you press enter, it's gonna See, when you have it locked in, that means the sizes will move relatively to each other. All right, now if we look, so here's our banana cat. And if we look closely, we can see that there is a red outline around him. And when you click on him, you can also see here that the outline is colored red. We'll leave it for now, but what this essentially means is if we would print and cut this out right now, the um, the silhouette would cut exactly where that red line is. So it would cut exactly around Banana Cat. And since we don't have any room for bleed, if the machine misaligns ever so slightly, it can cut off a part of the image. So that's why you usually see like this white outline around stickers, just so it re leaves you a little bit room for bleed you know, if the cutting misaligns by a few millimeters, it won't cut the actual design. It's just going to misalign that white part around the sticker. So now I'm going to show you 
how we're gonna do that white outline around the sticker and why we didn't need to draw it in Procreate because we're gonna be printing on white paper. We have no background around this drawing. So if it, uh, if it cuts just outside the drawing, it's gonna be cutting on white paper. So let's go over here, which is the open the offset panel. And we have our, we have our sticker selected. So we open the offset panel, All right? So here you press offset and here you can adjust how big or how small you want the line to be and if you want it rounded. I like it rounded, so we're just gonna pick, let's do it like this, 0 0.07 rounded and then press, and there you go. So now it shows another red line a little bit further outside of our sticker. So that's where we're gonna tell the machine to cut. So here's where the colors come in. Because the line that is right next to the edge of our sticker is still there, and it's colored red. And also this new line we made is red. So our cutting machine is gonna think they are both the same lines and need to be cut the same way. And we don't want the first red line to be cut. We're gonna wanna do a kiss cut on this line or a die cut. So it's gonna be something different, so we should color it differently. So over here, you can pick the color for your outline and I'm gonna choose purple. Now, as you can see, that new line we just did, the offset is purple and it's really hard to see, but this one is still red. And uh, now we're gonna click out. Now we're gonna select everything and we're going to group. Because if you don't select everything and group it, uh, the lines are actually gonna move separately from your drawing and we want them to move together. Now, to make the easy peel, we'll need another line. So around this line, it's gonna be kiss cut. So it's not gonna go through the back of the sticker. And the shape of the cat is actually gonna be cut through wholly from the paper um, with the next offset line. So we're gonna do offset again. And as you see, it's another line just went around it. And again, we want this to be a third different color. Let's do it green. And again, we're gonna group everything together. So now if we look closely around the cat, we don't wanna uh, cut right around the cat sticker. So that one's red and we're not gonna cut with it. Next around it, we're going to kiss cut. So it peels nicely off from the sticker paper and we're gonna have this uh, easy peel edge around it, which is green over here at the very end of the sticker and that's what we're gonna die cut. Now see if you're happy with the size. I think I want it even smaller. Now I'm gonna adjust the size once again. Press enter. And there we have it. So now, now that we grouped it, you can move the sticker around. And now we can fill out this page within all the margins with just as many cats as you can fit. Yeah, and make sure it doesn't touch the margins. So now you're gonna copy and then paste. And now you can select all four and you can copy and paste, just making the copy and pasting of the stickers much faster. All right, now that we've arranged our sticker sheet, the next thing we wanna do before we can cut it is print it. So we're gonna go over here to print and it's gonna open this print preview. So when you're printing it, you don't see the cut lines, but the computer know, knows they're there. But we do have these uh, registration marks. So these are important for uh, the silhouette. That's how they're gonna know where to cut. So I'll press print and it's gonna open your computer's print settings. So I'm on a Windows right now and I'm using the Canon series printer. So it, it's really good for printing on the glossy photo paper. And we're gonna be printing my stick, I'm gonna be printing my stickers on glossy photo paper. I like how vibrant the colors come out, but you need the right print settings for the colors to come out vibrant. So if you are printing on glossy sticker paper, you're gonna go to more settings or to advanced settings and 
you're gonna find where it says paper type or media type on your printer let me just move it so you can see it and I'm gonna pick photo paper and I'm just gonna pick glossy photo paper print quality you can experiment this for me standard works just fine my stickers aren't that detailed but try setting it to high if you see that you need it and we're gonna press OK and we're gonna press print I print my stickers on glossy white photo paper from Evergreen Goods, which I buy on Amazon. The color of our stickers is pretty vibrant, and you can see also the registration marks are visible clearly, which is important. I put my sticker paper on the cutting mat. Make sure you put it in the corner where it says one. Make sure it's even on all sides and insert it into your Silhouette Cameo. And make sure you're inserting it in the right place, right next to these lines, and press the forward button. Now that we've printed our stickers and uploaded them to our sticker machine, we can now start the cutting. And this is the important part. So to start cutting, we're gonna go to Send. And to cut with the easy peel method, first we're going to select all the stickers. They're all selected now. And to cut with the easy peel method, we're not going to use this. We're going to go into lines. And as you can see here, you can control each line separately and give them separate settings. First of all, like I said, we have the red line. Now you can see it better. It's right touching the sticker. And we're just going to deselect that because we're not going to cut that one. And uh, let's start with the purple line. So just click next to the purple. You'll go into the settings. And I have my sticker machine on and connected now so you can see all these settings. So let's start with our kiss cut. So that's going to be the purple line. So here from the drop down menu, you can select your sticker material. I've selected sticker paper white. And here are the default cutting settings it gives for white sticker paper. So here we have the blade depth, how many times the knife passes through the design, the force and the speed. So with these settings, I recommend that you try out these settings on your sticker paper just on like one singular sticker or you can test it and it's going to cut a little bit out of the corner um, because I had to adjust these settings a little bit so it works on my sticker paper and I feel like I need a bit harder settings personally because my blade has gone a little bit dull but I'm going to show you my settings for kiss cut and die cut stickers and then you can experiment them and see what you need to do. But you know, if this doesn't work for you precisely, don't be discouraged. You just need to adjust it a little bit. All right, so for kiss cut stickers, we don't need um, the knife to go so strongly through the paper because we only want to get the first layer cut and leave the back of the sticker paper. And uh, I find for a smooth cut, so there's no edges that aren't cut and uh, are sticking to the paper, I need the blade to go through my design at least two times. So I recommend increasing the passes to two, because sometimes the blade isn't sharp enough to just cleanly cut everything in like one sweep. And for a kiss cut, we don't want the blade to go that deeply into the paper. So I set it to one and then I, I feel like I need a bit more force for my stickers. So this one, I set it to 15 and speed eight is pretty good. It's not too slow. So those are your settings for your kiss cut. And now we're going to go on to the green one. Also sticker paper white, but for this one, we want it to go all the way through the paper. So we're going to need more force and make sure it uh, disconnects our sticker from the whole sticker sheet. So again, we're gonna need it to pass two times. And um, for just sticker paper depth 
to should be enough but if you feel like you needed to go deeper increase it to three and then i increase my force to 17. so you can see the difference here uh, it's deeper and that applies more force to make sure it cuts through the paper deeper and the kiss cut is just light enough not to cut all the way through um, the sticker sheet I'm having a little bit of issues with my registration marks personally. It used to be that I would do all this and then make sure my paper is loaded right, press send, and then it would uh, detect my registration marks without problems and cut exactly as instructed over here. But I lately I've been having issues with sensing registration marks, so I'm going to do it manually. So just you can if you need to do that as well. Just click in this area, left click and select manual registration. So now we'll need to go up to the machine after we press send and help it uh, find the registration marks. If you're aligning your registration marks manually, the important part is to use the arrow buttons to direct the knife itself over the black square. So not where the laser is coming from, but the knife. And once you've done that, just go back to your software and press register. And as you can see, um, what the laser is aligning now with the lines, and that's how you know it's going to cut in the right place. Sorry about the sudden change of lighting. It suddenly got really sunny in my room, so now the camera's a bit yellow. But as you can see, we've finished our cut. And uh, like I said before, my blade's a little dull, so it's not the most perfect and satisfying peel. But as you can see, most of them do come off cleanly from the page, and we'll be able to get the rest of them off nicely as well. Now, if you look at the sticker, you can see the different cuts. The kiss cut only went through the first layer and hasn't gone all the way through the sticker. Now what's left for you to do is just peel off the outer layer and there you have it, your easy peel design sticker. Now it's going to be really simple for anyone to peel off the sticker from the back. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope this was helpful to you and let me know if there's anything else I can help you with when it comes to the silhouette or making stickers.